Alex Spagnola, you've got a world champion in your midst. And Orlando Canizales, and what a proud moment it is when they step into the ring, but they kind of a cautious moment indeed when you have to come in to defend, I know. A lot of anxiety there, a lot of anxiety. Joey Curtis will be the man, it'll be the third man in the ring. Nelson Vasquez from uh, Puerto Rico, Rick Bays from Miami, Florida. Enzo Scala from Rome, Italy will be the uh, three judges that'll be judging this. Benedetto Monatello is the, of course, the Italian supervisor and president of the European IBF. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the singing and playing of both national anthems. Challenger, and of course, the champion, welcome Nita, and his uh, trainer and handler, of course, M. Uh, Mazuna had his clicking all over the way, trying to get out Nita today. And as you see, Bob and I sitting here at ringside, we get ready for this championship fight. 26 years of age is Nita. You see a comparison of some of the uh, numbers that uh, you will see. Salud with 21 knockouts compared to 14 for Nita. A 41-4 record for Salud and a former WBA world champion. Young man has been to the top of the mountain and would like to get there very much again, Bob. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a seasoned veteran. Look at the legs on Jesus Salud. God, what a set of tree trunks. I mean, he's, this guy... Yeah, he looks very dry to me, Sam, though. Uh, as you can see, his back, he doesn't have a bead of sweat on him. Joey Curtis in his 30th championship fight he is the mediator and the referee for this fight tonight. Joey, of course, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada. Said it was a little cold here in Italy for him. Since it's already near the 100 mark out in Vegas. As we get ready for the defense, this will be number six for the champion. Welcome, Nita. He went back and won that IBF Junior Featherweight title on March 10th of 1990 with a 12-round win over Fabrice Benichu. That was in Israel. And since that time, he's had some tough fights, but he's won them all. Round one, schedule 12 for the championship. You've got the consummate boxer against the slugger in Salude. Salude needs to pressure Welcome. Welcome. It'll be interesting to see how much he tries to come straight ahead. He is the more, as Bob pointed out, the consummate boxer. He'll bob and weave and move. One thing he's been working with Luther, Luther Burgess, as a matter of fact, he's been working down in your hometown of Houston, Texas, and they've tried to get him to work in a little bit closer from time to time, but get in, sting, and get out. Yeah, I don't think he wants to lay inside with this guy Not much with this at one. all. Salute in the goal. Seems very relaxed. Just feeling him out. Looping right by Salud. He's ranked number two by the WBC and number two by the IBF. That's the opportunity to fight the champion here tonight in Treviolo, Italy. Yeah, although he's rated as the number two contender, this is the mandatory challenge because Tracy Harris Patterson is rated number one in both the right. WBC and IBF, and he's going to go in the direction of the BC, which leaves Salute as mandatory here. His entire camp, headed by his trainer Al Silva, that's now working with him now in his corner, have been very, very confident about the uh, the style that they needed to fight uh, Nita. They, of course, have watched all of the tapes. As a matter of fact, Nita has gone in his last three fights. He's gone 12 full rounds. Of course, uh, Sugar Baby Rojas in two of those and Hurley Sneed in the other. Prior to that, he had seven of his nine fights. He won by knockout, so he's having to go the distance six times all told, 12 rounds, to win some fights. So he is durable and can stay there. Salud landed a good combination there and welcomes boxing, feeling him out. Good combination by the champion. Uppercut by Salud. Good friend of ours, Rodney Berman, of course, watching back in South Africa, watching closely as his world champion fights and defend his title here tonight. He is, of course, is his advisor. Cedric Kushner is a promoter. Luther Burgess, I mentioned the trainer. MZ Mazuna is the manager. What a tremendous job Rodney's done with these fighters. Yes. Having to take them all around the world to develop them, that's certainly tough. Going into everybody's backyard. And of course, Brian Mitchell, the best known of them all as of recent. The road warrior. He has won everywhere in the world and actually got a chance to fight in his home country, which was great. It was a culmination of a fantastic career for Brian. A real gentleman and a winner. And another gentleman to say to speak is uh, welcome Nita. As he is in the ring, you see the closing seconds of round number one, scheduled for 12 for the title tonight here in Italy.
the toe. Stool for the sound of the bell to start round number two. Jesus Salud, again the former WBA champion in the gold, stripped of that title. And we'll get into why on that a little later. And of course the champion welcome Nita from East London, South Africa. 26 years of age, 5'6", weighed in at 55 and 3 today. Good body shot by Welcome. You can see the difference in the physiques of the two fighters. Welcome's elongated and Salud's short and compact, as which is representative out, of their styles, I As think. you pointed out, with a couple of good stems down there, he pushes Ooh. off on those calves. He's got some muscles there. Salud was named as the Hawaiian pro athlete, or athlete period, in 1989. And it was ironic he said he beat out one of his best friends who was a sumo wrestler who weighs 500 pounds, and I said, he didn't offer to arm wrestle you for the award again, did you? And he said, I wouldn't take that challenge on a bet. But he was very, very proud of being the Hawaiian Athlete of the Year by the Honolulu Quarterback Club. Again, salute, an outstanding champion coming from the Hawaiian Islands. Ooh, clean shots landed by both fighters. It just goes to show you expect one kind of a fight, and you get a completely different good body work by salute. Salute and won the title of the WBA title December the 11th of 89 in Los Angeles. Juan Jose Estrada fell in the ninth round of the champion, but he never got an opportunity to defend the title. Maybe you could bring us up to date on why. I uh, salute enjoyed the uh, title uh, just the one time and didn't get a defense out of it. Right. Well, it's, this is a very tough business, and there's a lot of politics going on. But the situation being that uh, Jesus was the champion, but he assumed winning the vacant title, uh, they'd had an agreement that he would fight the mandatory against the Colombian Luis Mendoza as his first defense. His handlers decided that they were going to fight Jesse Benavidez in Corpus Christi and the WBO disagreed, WBA, excuse me, disagreed and eventually stripped Jesus of the title and Mendoza fought his countryman Ruben Palacios for the vacant title and Jesus was reduced to fighting a 10 rounder down in Corpus Christi against Jesse Benavidez in his own hometown. Oh, good combination, good right hand by Salud. He, by the way, lost that fight to Jesse Benavidez, saying his mind was definitely not in the fight, even though it was a tough one. Lost in a 10-round split decision to Benavidez, again in uh, Benavidez's hometown of Corpus Christi, Texas. Shots. Well, these two junior featherweights are battling for the IBF title, and neither right now are holding back much in round number two. By the way, round one, how'd you score that one now, Bob? I gave the round a salute. He's landing some good shots here. Welcome's fighting a lot more than I thought he would. Taking his quickness factor out of the fight. He's landed some good jabs, but... No. I'm safe. Third round set for 12. Jesus Salud fighting out of San Diego, originally from Honolulu, Hawaii, in the gold. The champion welcome Nita out of East London, South Africa, and defending his title for the sixth time since winning it back in 1989. Welcome's got to establish that jab, and there he goes with a nice right hand behind it and a nice left hook. That's what he's got to do. Use his quickness on this guy. Let me correct that he won the title in 1990 instead of 89 over Benishu of France, won it in Israel. Both fighters came out with obviously a very good sound game plan. They apparently have stayed very closely to it in the first two rounds. And I see you got Salud winning uh, round number two in your card again, Bob. Yeah, I gave Salud both of the first two rounds, landing cleaner shots. But Welcome's off to a good round here. He's using his quickness, not standing still, feigning nicely. His quickness is an incredible attribute. You can't, it's almost an intangible thing. You can't measure it in the ring. You can certainly see it, but it's not like the vertical leap or anything like that. Welcome is notoriously a slow starter because of his boxing skills. And he stays outside, lets the other Another left, left hook contender welcome. pretty much dictate what he wants to try to do, and then Welcome tries to take it away from him. And successfully, he's been able to do that through his first 30 fights. He is 30 and zip. One them all. Yeah, he's in his rhythm now. Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnola, boxing manager out of Houston, Texas, working with us tonight here in Treviolo, Italy, for the IBF Junior Featherweight Champion of the World. Only bad intentions on these punches. <laughs> <laughs> 21 knockouts by Salud in his 41 wins, 14 in the 30 wins for Nita. Very similar knockout ratio. 
Good left hand again by Salud. Hooked by the champion. Neither fighter, by the way, has had a history of any cuts, so we will probably not see any of that unless some head clash or obviously an accumulation of punches. Neither fighter have had any trouble with that. Welcome seems to be having a little swelling over the outside of the left eye, though. If there yeah. is a potential yeah. for a cut, it's there. Yeah, sometimes a swelling can be worse than a cut. Exactly. But there's definitely swelling, again, on the yeah. outside of the left eye. Nice double jab by the champion. Salute with this very extensive pro career, again, in 45 professional fights, winning 41. Was the Hawaiian Golden Glove champion a couple of times in 81 and 82. Also won the PAL championship, the Police Academy Association League, and that was in 1980. So he's gone from the amateurs into the pros and then fighting well against the champion here through three. For this IBF Junior Featherweight Championship, Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnuolo as we greet you tonight on this title fight. Brought to you in association with MNET Supersports and Cedric Kushner Productions. And again, the challenger in the goal, Jesus Salud, the former ABA, WBA, WBA champion, and the current champion of the IBF and the junior featherweight, Welcome Nita. As I told you earlier, I don't think Jesus Salud is totally comfortable coming forward. He's really more of a counter puncher and an excellent one at it. But uh, I've seen some opportunities for him to pressure Welcome Warren. He's going to have to pressure him to win this fight. So Lord does hold a title right now. He won the IBC title in June of 1990 in Hawaii. That was in the Super Bantamweight Division. Recaptured the North American Boxing Federation title on September 14th of last year. Darrell Pinckney, he fought him in Hawaii, and for the first time in his career, he had to go 12 rounds. The only time he's done so to win that fight. So he does hold the NABF title and would certainly like to add another feather to his cap here tonight with a win over Welcome, but I'm sure the champion has other thoughts about that. Welcome's boxing very well right now. He's really gotten into his rhythm and established himself. He's got Salute on the outside, slipping nicely, using his quickness, using his attributes, not laying in there with a guy. Oh, nice left hook. Left hand glancing off the face of Welcome. Again, the swelling of the left eye is continuing, but nothing to worry about at the moment. The three judges again, Rick Bays from Miami off to my right across the way is Enzo Scala from Rome. And to our immediate left is Nelson Vasquez from Puerto Rico, San Juan. The three judges that will score this fight if indeed does go the distance. And Joey Curtis is the third man in the ring as the referee in his 30th title fight. Good work by the champion, getting his punches off and getting out of there. Salute's waiting too much. Third round, you scored uh, back the other way, right? The welcome? Yeah, I, I really feel like the champion is taking control of the fight. As you looked to earlier, he is a slow starter, but he's making up for lost time right now. He's no easy mark. Welcome throwing some good punches. Oh, nice uppercut by the champion. By the way, interesting enough, Hurley Sneed was in town and was sparring with uh, Salud uh, getting, uh, getting him ready for this fight. And of course, Sneed, one of those that fell in 12 to the champion uh, Nita in one of the earlier fights on his defense. So interesting strategy by Salud and his entourage coming from San Diego. He's looking for the champion here, but Hurley Sneed's a completely kind of different kind of fighter. He's more similar to Jesus than he is to Welcome. It's round number five of a scheduled 12-rounder for the IBF Junior Featherweight Championship as the champion in the white welcome Nita against Jesus Salud. Jesus in the goal, fighting out of uh, San Diego, originally from Honolulu. Scored well early on. How about the fourth round? Uh, going back to the champion, yeah, I see. Back to the champion. I think he's in complete control right now. Jesus, I mean, he's either going to win this fight with one punch or, or he's going to lose it because uh, he's blocked those punches. So on our unofficial card, and we keep emphasizing it is unofficial, it is an even fight at 38 all here through the first four rounds. With again Salud fighting very well rounds one and two, but now the champion, as Bob has pointed out, in his rhythm in the third and fourth rounds. Yeah, welcomes boxing nicely here, and 
Salud's looking to counter him with one shot. As I said before, he is a counter puncher, but he's got to do more. He's got to take it to a higher level to, to win this championship. You may mention that Salud came in uh, very dry, has started to work up a little bit of a perspiration now. But again, very dry. Had not worked out that much in his dressing room, Ooh, it appeared. Uppercut, good uppercut, uppercut by, by Salud. Salud. Yes. Welcome pivoted around. He was right there. <laughs> by, the one. by the way, that swelling now, Bob, is now spread from the outside of the eyebrow to actually right on the lid. And uh, that could be a problem before this thing's yeah. over now. Yeah, and that's what he's looking to hit him with, the right hand yes. there on the blind side. Good oh. combination by the champion. Man. No effect on Salud, though. Well, walked right through that yeah. one, didn't he? He's a brick house build them like that in Hawaii the Philippines I guess Salud so started out like a house of fire after that great amateur career won his first 20 pro fights finally lost to oh, Freddy really Duarte on a TKO in the ninth round and uh, since the Benavides fight he's won eight in a row so he is in his prime as well I even though he is at 28 Good left it's a hand. scary thing for a fighter to have impaired vision. And the problem is it's on the left eye. You definitely can't see the right. Mm. You will see Welcome almost turning his head almost sideways, which is uncharacteristic of the right-hander, certainly. to try to see out of, the, uh, out of the right eye because the left is slowly starting to close. Yes, I guess it is. It's painful when they work on that with that end swell, too. But you've got to take a little pain to get your vision back. And it takes a little pain to get to the top of the mountain, and Welcome has been through that. Salud also is a world champion, a former champion. would like to get there, and both will pay the price tonight. You have that feeling. You see the closing seconds of round number five of this world title fight from Italy tonight. Getting underway for the IBF Junior Featherweight Championship. And the champion... Welcome, Nita has some problems with a swollen left eye. Salud has uh, thrown some big punches tonight and obviously with the swelling has landed with that right hand. Yeah, that's what he's looking to do in a big way right now. By the way, after an even fifth round on our unofficial card, we are even at 48 all on the scoring here in this title fight. There's that combination thrown again, Nita Throwing Wiley, Joey Curtis acknowledging that the gloves touched will wipe them off. No knockdown. Close to it, though. Yeah, he was reeling. Boy, Salute is like a stalker right now. He yeah. knows he's got his, uh, his victim in sight right now. This is where the boxing talent and skills of Welcome Nita will certainly be called on. Absolutely. Punch out of there. Both punch out. Break it up. Break it up. That's it. Let's go again. Yeah, Salud just looking to land that right hand and welcomes being a little bit more defensive because of that. I was just watching that big right hand salute through a moment ago. And I want to tell you, when he threw it, both heels were firmly planted on the canvas, so he's setting down on everything he's throwing right now. champion is still able to fight his fight that of course is the boxing from the outside coming in stinging and getting out of there but salute is starting to slowly erode that game plan a bit salute should be throwing right hands to the body though bring that hand down because that's the only defense that welcome has right now he just waits so much he's Nice work on the inside by Welcome. Tried to take a little of that. The Hawk right in on top of him. Because he can't see those right hands coming from yes. the outside. He might be a little bit more comfortable in there. Exactly. That's a good point, Bob. He's doing a good job, but he really doesn't. He's surprising Salute with this tactic so far, but I don't think he really wants to lay in with this guy. You know, I'm really kind of looking in the corner to Luther Burgess, his trainer, and see if he's shocking Luther as well. He's found a comfort zone in there right now, yep. though. Well, that's what he's got to do, because he's got a blind spot coming with that right hand from the outside. You can this hear the crowd certainly appreciating it. This is what I was saying about adaptability in the heart yep. of a champion, and that's what we're seeing right now. 
game plans have definitely changed in the final few seconds here of round number six. The champion certainly challenged by Jesus Salud as the sixth round comes to an end. That swollen eye and all to start the seventh round. Eyes completely closed at the beginning of the round. So Despite the lack of vision here, Bob, you gave him the uh, sixth round as well, I see. Certainly did. Certainly did. So Nita now takes the lead on the unofficial scorecards, 58-57, as we are fighting here in the seventh round of this scheduled for 12-round title fight. Now, was that just a quirk, or was that a style change by Nita well, in that just, round? We'll find out here. I just heard Luther say box him on the outside, but, uh, you know, oftentimes a fighter knows, you know, he certainly knows what he can see through that eye. He's turning salute here nicely. But he's reaching. Got himself over his feet a little bit. But Good jabs by the champion. I think uh, salute has got a little relaxed. Almost to the point he's being able seeing to land welcome. punches. Yeah, and seeing the eye swell, yeah. he may do that, yeah. Lulled him into a little bit of a false sense of security. There's the champion turning him nicely. Pivoting in and out of there after he gets his punches off. Welcome is a bachelor. Salud on the opposite side is a happily married man to his wife, Julie. Son Jordan is six and a brand new daughter, Jay, born just four months ago. All residing back in the San Diego area. Now, welcome to changing. He's boxing on the outside, boxing on the inside. Joey Curtis wants to make sure he's got control of the fight. This is what it's all about, championship boxing. Good counter right hand by Salud, and the champion answers back with good body shots. And here comes the challenger. Don't think there's going to be a lot of question on the conditioning of both fighters. Certainly, Salud looks like he may be the tireder of the two, but that's just his style mm -hmm. as he kind of prods in. Yeah, he's very economical with his punches. Exactly. Welcome, of course. You'll see him always up on the toe, bobbing, weaving, punching. Right now, trying to get away from Salud a little more. Mm. Good body shot by Salud. Salud made the comment in the hotel that he felt like his experience would be one of the things that Welcome was not totally acclimated to, nor he said, I feel like I'm a little better caliber fighter than maybe some of the other people he's fought. That certainly comes from his I, own assessment. I think that that's true, but at the same time, he just, I mean, if he wants to take this championship from this champion and this champion is not going to go quietly, he needs to do more. He's waiting. Fighting system. Bell sounds. We're heading for the eighth round of a scheduled 12 rounder. Sam Smith, along with Bob Spagnola. Bob, of course, a well known manager back in the United States. Former champion Gabby Canizales, Calvin Grove, and current champion Orlando Canizales, and number one contender Frank Tate. Under his tutorship, he'll be heading for Paris, where Orlando will defend his title in Paris, France next week. Glad to have Bob with us tonight, and uh, we're seeing a pretty good one here in this title fight, Bob. Yeah, this is what it's all about, and it's funny. We alluded to the contrast of styles, but uh, it's the adaptability by the champion thus far that I think's got him ahead of the in the fight. I've got him ahead two points. Winning uh, on our unofficial card, the third, fourth, sixth, and seventh. Salute winning one and two in an even fifth round. I never would have thought that Welcome would be the one winning these inside exchanges, but he certainly is continuously doing the better work in there. Which certainly is a kind of a pat on his back because we are, is, indeed he's showing us another versatility uh, move of his own. And of course the adaptability of being able to change in mid-fight. Salute almost seems uncomfortable in there. He waits for the ref to break him and in the meantime the champion's doing well there's some good work by salute on the inside you know the early years by salute he signed with robert de flippus out in san diego and it apparently has been a very good marriage they won the wba of course the uh dispute that we talked about losing the title losing to benavides but since that time it's been mostly all up for yeah, salute certainly under robert they make a great combination bobby's a class guy and works hard for his fighters and if you're looking for good italian food outside of italy you'll find it in san diego now, welcome being warned again. Now, the challenger being warned for not breaking at the commands of Joey Curtis. Get out of there. 
small Sportiva here in Treviola, Italy. Crowd's certainly been well entertained, though, with this title fight. Non stop Good combination action. by the champion. I think Salute's surprised by Welcome fighting him on the inside. I think he never suspected it. I'm certainly surprised. Well, I'm sure he probably looked at those last three fights of the 12 rounders he wins over right. the Sugar, Hurley, Sneed Sugar fight Baby, and, and uh, Rojas yeah. and Sneed, certainly. You did not see this from the champion, that's for sure. Necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> or survival, one of the two, I'm not sure. Oh, oh good by the champion. Salute, Surprise back on his heels. <laughs> Nita and Salud, to his credit, fighting right through it. He was hurt. Salud continues to press forward, but he's not been very effective with his aggression. He can't seem to get that clean shot in on the champion. Closing seconds of the eighth. Shot that he landed that was uh, the champion's best shot of the fight. Hit yep. Salute with a nice left hook. All of a sudden, you got him throwing uh, shutouts here, Bob. Winning from the well, third like round. Like I said, he he uh, he started slow, and uh, I, I I really think that uh, Jesus kind of got a false sense of security with the eye swelling shut because he kind of thought it was just a matter of time before he was going to land that big right hand, but. Every round he comes out, I'm sure they're telling him in his corner he's got to pressure this guy more and throw more punches. He is walking to him, but he, he's very economical with the amount of punches that he throws. The IBF Junior Featherweight Champion welcome Nita in the white. Jesus Salud in the gold, the challenger tonight, and a former WBA world champion. The current uh, NABF champion, and he would like to add another belt to his collection, but welcome's not going to give it up. <laughs> Excuse the pun, without a fight tonight here in Italy. He will not go quietly. And right now he's not going at all because that gives him a three-point lead on our unofficial cards now. And he's pressuring the challenger. He's backing Jesus up to the ropes. He's picking his times to fight. And Well, welcome. It's just exactly where he wants now, isn't he? He's moving nicely, but look at Jesus. He doesn't have a mark on him. He doesn't even look like he's been in a fight. No, there's a good combination downstairs by Salud. That's what he needs to do. Got to cut him off in one of those corners and go to work on him. He hasn't been able to corner him yet. Champion, welcome. Nita fighting his fight. Little trouble early on. The eye problem is swelling over the left eye. They've worked on that well. He's still peeky-booing out of that eye, certainly, and it is still a potential cut area, but they've done a good job to keep their fighter in the fight right now. Welcome continues to turn him on the inside. Jesus looks up, and Welcome's gone. By the way, one thing Welcome is, when they do clash inside, or at least get inside, he's not turning that left side or his left head away. He's still taking some good headbutts in there by Salud when they do get in tight. Watch that and see if he's able to turn that head away from him. He hasn't been able to do so so far. There you see that eye is right on him. And he works in there and Jesus doesn't. But uh, Salud's had a good round this round with his pressure. But you have to do something with it. Bays, Scala, and Vasquez, the three judges working from the U.S., Italy, and Puerto Rico. What kind of fighter do they like? They like one that's aggressive. They like a defensive fighter. They like a fighter with a lot of style. You never know. You just have to kind of wait and see. Right. Closing seconds, round nine. And the champion is certainly on a roll. Fight has stayed a three-point fight unofficially on our card at even ninth round against Salud, taking the fight to Welcome. Welcome probably got it even right there at that last flurry at the end of the round. Yeah, Salud started the last round very well, but he, he slowed down. Oh, good hook by the champion. They're throwing some thunder right now as both these fighters have come out swinging in the tent.
both of you. Get in and get out. It just seems like Welcome's cheating. Fighting this fight with one eye, it only seems like Salud should be able to take advantage of that because I promise he hasn't been able to see out of that eye for four rounds. Nothing. It'll be very interesting when you have an opportunity to visit with the fighters in the ring after this is over, Bob, to really kind of dissect and see if round number six was a fluke or if that was just something that Welcome took on himself because when he got inside and started rumbling, this fight really literally turned around for him. Yeah. Yeah, Luther sure didn't like it too much, but <laughs> good combination by the champion. Right hand, the left hook afterwards. Look at his work rate, so much more than Hastings. He's continually waiting on him. And Showing Jesus those angles, never giving him a clean. Exactly. Now right there, Jesus made very little effort to try to corner Welcome in the corner. I guess he realizes there's no way he can, well. but he's got to somewhere along the way. Now this is good body work and a hook by Salud, and he's got to follow that up. Exactly. A couple of punches and then doesn't do much afterwards. He seems satisfied to admire his work. A good body shot. Salud is picking up the pace here. No. Had a notion that right hand, it just wasn't there, was it? If we can see it, I'm sure he can see it. <laughs> <laughs> and there it goes. But he's pushing his punches. He really doesn't seem to have the snap that he had early in the fight. But he's intense. Salute is intense. Yeah, no doubt there. Welcome seems to be extremely focused. And again, it appears, now we are only in the 10th now, that for the fourth consecutive fight, he has a potential of going to the 12th round in a title defense. No, well, he's comfortable with that. Yeah. But Jesus continues to pose in front of him. Good combination by the challenger there. Another close round. So as round 10 comes to a close, both fighters head for their corner. And again, we have six more minutes of fighting will there be a retention of the crown by welcome nita or will jesus salud suddenly find renewed vigor here he's going to have to find something is your pair featherweights in the ibf division the champion welcome nita out of east london south africa against jesus salud originally from honolulu hawaii and the native of the philippines nice fighting out of san diego now nice little uppercut on the inside by welcome while he held the other hand but he is. He's fighting with one eye, and he's, <laughs> he's using his good one to its full advantage. <laughs> he's almost having to tilt his head almost backwards. If you watch him, watch how he tries to raise his oh, chin. Absolutely. Because he literally is. can't and see out of the eye at all. And that's an awful dangerous thing to do with a guy that can punch like Jesus Salud. I'm surprised that he hasn't used that to his advantage at all. Because really, the clean shots that he landed were in the first two rounds. Well, I tell you, Welcome stays busy when he gets inside. You know, he looks like he just started the second round, doesn't he? Here he is in the 11th. Yeah, he's an incredibly well-conditioned athlete. You know, when you take a look at these title offenses, Ramon Cruz, along with Geraldo Lopez, both of those short fights for, again, Nita, winning in seventh in a TKO, a knockout in the eighth of Lopez. Then Rojas Steed and Rojas again going 12 in his five title defense. His last one probably the most satisfying one because he did get it in Sun City in South Africa fighting in his native country and winning a 12-rounder over a man that had boasted that he could beat him the next time around. Good combinations by the champion. He really fighting well. <laughs> and he comes out and sticks his head straight up, and he's got his hands <laughs> at his side. Jesus doesn't know what's going on. He can't believe this. Well, he wants to make sure he's punching Salute and not a corner post because he really can't see him that well. well this welcome has really turned it to a higher level tonight. Turned it up a notch. 
and he should get a lot of respect in the boxing community. Exactly. Now there he got hit with a right hand. That may be about the first right hand Salute's been able to get in in two or three rounds. Oh, there goes another right hand. Now Salute's corner really trying to get him going in the closing 20 seconds of the 11th round. Yeah, he's brought himself right back into this round with those big right hands. Well, I tell you, the corner over in the champion, uh, Welcome Nita, they are on pins and needles to get him over in that corner again, or just like in starting blocks over there to work on that eye as the bell sounds to end this, the 11th round. An extraordinary offer. Well, Joey Curtis, the referee, summons the fighters to the center of the ring for the touch of the gloves, and we are ready for the final three minutes of this fight here tonight in Italy. Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnola as the champion in the white. Welcome Nita against the challenger, Jesus Salute, and we have not dis disappointed in the action we have seen tonight by any stretch. Excellent bout, two guys giving it their all. Salute, by the way, uh, and I guess Nita didn't understand that there's a flat tire on the bicycle. He's not on it yet. Now he gets a pedal or two going. And then Wade's right back in again. Yeah, but he's giving him that lateral movement. With Need on our unofficial card winning the last round. That Actually, takes I it had up. Salute. I gave oh, Salute, salute. the last you, you round changed? based okay. on those right hands. All right, that'll tighten it a little bit. Welcome's head was outside the ropes there for a minute. Tightens it down to a two-point match coming to this final round with the champion on top on the unofficial card. Salute's really got to make something happen to, on my scorecard to yeah. get into this fight, and he's working. But I don't know why he didn't throw these combinations earlier I was going to say, why, why would he be laying back on that right hand so much until finally we saw it in the 11th again? I realize it's uh, tough to hit a moving object, but he, he did land. But was not able to do it earlier. Mm -hmm. Salute throwing that wild right hand. I think Welcome might want to get in there and lay in with him a little bit more for the second half of this last round. I think what he's also thinking, too, you know, the next guy, if I'm going to look at the tape, and he's really going to wonder what I'm going to do. <laughs> Am I going to stay outside or am I get inside and rumble? <clears throat> if he's thinking about the next guy he's going to fight, he really is something. <laughs> <laughs> I said he didn't lack for confidence. I yep. <laughs> the Steel World Hawk. I tell you what, the Hawk has so soared wildly today. Salute has tagged him with some big, big numbers. Certainly the looking at the left eye will certainly tell you that. But Salute again, for some reason or other, particularly in the 8th, ninth, and 10th rounds, well, almost from the 6th round on, really wasn't able to mount much of an attack. Got a couple of even rounds and then scored in the 11th, but now they have a little... Too little too late here in this 12th round against the champion, but again, it's in the hands of the judges. That's right. And for the fourth consecutive time and a title defense, the champion will go to the cards. This kind of pressure is what Salute really wanted to do the whole fight. And there's the bell, and this fight is history. And now Bob Spagnolo must come the most difficult time in the world, and that's waiting for the scorecards. Salute on your unofficial card winning the last round. And that tightens it down to a one-point difference on your card, if my mathematics are correct. That's right. And Salute again fighting the fight, but not quite as well as he needed to on our cards. Before finally, of course, the champion gets an opportunity to defend his title. This is some of the action, and that's what we expected uh, Welcome to do in this final round. Salute finally caught up with him. And then Welcome said, okay, if I can't get away from you, I'm just going to stay in the rumble a little bit. You, my friend, can use some... And the cards being announced here, and they are indeed close. 116-115 on one card. 113-112 on another card, and that is a split there. And they have it a 112-112, so it is a 116-112. So it is a unanimous decision by the defending world champion. Welcome, Nita. Again, 116-112, 115-113, and 116-112. Those were the cards, even though we had a little tighter here at ringside, as scored by Bob Spagnola. But nonetheless, he got an opportunity to 
get the victory did uh, welcome Nikita and there's the cards Vasquez again from Puerto Rico 16-12 uh, 16-12 also by Bays and 15-13 by Enzo Scala as he comes up with a little tighter Squiddle. I'm here with the champion welcome after a tremendous bout what are your thoughts uh, well, uh, it was a fight, tough fight. In fact, I knew I was, I was facing a hell of a tough guy, you know. Um, the only thing that I did, uh, I knew I was going to uh, outspeed him. I know he's, he's very strong, he's a very strong guy. And, and uh, I had the advantage of moving, movements and everything as a speed. So I know he, he did get a couple of early rounds, but after fourth round, uh, I decided to stay inside because I knew he couldn't fight inside. If you're inside, he's got a problem. So I a lot of punches inside. I think you really surprised him with your work were right inside. He was waiting on you. Yeah, he, you know, he, he thought I was going to run away. I know. He, he, he watched a couple of fights of me. Uh, when I, I'm sure he watched the one of Rojas and Sneed. Then he thought I was going to run away all through rounds. But I knew if I stay inside, he can't work. So I uh, stepped inside. I just waited for my, for my chances in the early rounds. And then uh, when I saw that uh, it's, not, it's time now to get inside, I got inside and I'm working on, on inside. And then um, I won the fight. You really took it to a higher level. Welcome. Congratulations. You say something to everybody back home. Well, uh, it's time for celebration at home. I'm coming back. I'm coming back on Tuesday. We're all going to celebrate. Uh, this was a, in, as I know this was a hell of a fight. You know that. But we take care. I promise you to take care of him. And I did it. So it's time for, for the party now. Congratulations again. Thoughts from the promoter, Senator Kushner? No problem. I'd like to send this special thanks to a guy who helped me. First, I'd like to send this special thanks from God, you know, uh, nothing uh, very great more than uh, our holy God. And I'd like to think, think, uh, send this special thanks to a guy who helped me through this fight, make me strong, um, uh, Bryce, right at Muscle Factory. Uh, we did it, Bryce. Some thoughts from the promoter, Cedric? You know, for those people that may have had their doubts about welcome, you know, they said in the two uh, Rojas fights, maybe he ran a little bit, maybe he was ducking and diving, and maybe he didn't show certain things that people might have wanted to see. Well, after the fourth round, talking about C, that being the key word, he couldn't even do any of that. And he went eight rounds, literally with one eye, and he was standing toe-to-toe -to -toe right inside. He did a marvelous job, and he showed what a great champion he is, and I'm so proud to be associated with him. Thanks, Bob. Absolutely. Let me take the advantage of, say, of saying thank you to Cedric. Cedric, and, uh, you, you have done quite a lot. You have done quite a lot for me. us in South Africa uh, with Rodney Berman. I know the problems that we're having. Even now, this fight, many people thought it will not take place, but because of your sacrifice, we are very grateful of you, Cedric. And I'm sure you'll keep on helping us under difficult time. Maybe will be right. We will always think of you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Welcome. We'll go back to Sam, Luther, and Malcolm.